Okay guys, today we're going to learn how to write a definite integral as an equivalent, equivalent limit of Riemann sums. Um, a topic that we have not spent much time with, but a topic we've got to be familiar with before showtime on uh, AP exam day. So, um, seemingly impossible. We'll try to make sense of this and make sure you guys know what, what you're doing come showtime. Uh, I think we've been, been able to break it down here, so it's uh, quite reasonable with regard to uh, being able to have success here. So here's a challenge. Uh, we're going to be given a definite integral from, from 2 to 6 of uh, function 3x minus 2dx and be challenged to write this as a limit of Riemann sums. So first of all, I want you to be familiar with the blueprint for the limit of the sum of Riemann sums. There's your definite integral from a to b of f of x dx. We're familiar with that. We know how to evaluate integrals of that form. But this isn't that type of problem. In the end here, we're going to take this definite integral and transform it into a format that looks like this. The limit as n approaches infinity of the sum that uh, capital letter, letter sigma is a letter of the Greek alphabet, and it means summation. Uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum of numbers k equals 1 to n of the quantity a plus k delta x. That little triangle is another Greek letter. Delta means change, if you've seen that in science class, times delta x. I realize that blueprint doesn't mean squat to you, but... Uh, We'll be able to show you what goes where and to be able to, uh, when the dust clears, arrive at a final answer that looks like this. So here are the steps you're going to take that you kind of have to commit to memory. There's four of them. The first step, you got to find delta x. You do that by going b minus a over n. Well, the b minus a are the upper and lower uh, limits of your integration. So b minus a over n is pretty simple, simple to arrive at. That's step one. Step two, you got to find a plus k delta x. The a comes from that lower limit of integration. k is going to remain uh, put, so you'll see the letter k in your expression. And delta x is just stolen from what you found in step one. The next thing you're going to have to do is compose f at a plus k delta x for f of x. Now look up high there. You, you got to go back to the original problem and realize what f of x is. f of x in this case is 3x minus 2. And we know how to compose functions, you guys. It's like whenever you see that x in the function, you're going to plug in instead of that x, you're going to plug in a plus k delta x. I know, a plus k delta x, what on earth is that? Help me. We'll get to it. But just know that that third step is a composition, and you know how to compose functions. Finally, you're going to write your final answer in that, what I'll call a limit sum format. A limit sum format. So we're going to steal the same problem that you see up high here, and see if we can go through these steps. Uh, but that is huge. That's the limit sum format. And truth be known, uh, that first part of that, the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from k equals 1 to n. Every one of your problems is going to start that way. Copy and paste it. Every single one of them you'll see. All right. So again, here's the challenge in front of us. Step one, I got to find delta x. That's b minus a over n. That appears to be 6 minus 2 over n. I'm getting that from the limits of integration. 6 minus 2 over n, which is 4 over n. You're going to use that. That's step 1. Step 2, I'm going to find a plus k delta x. a is stolen right from here, you guys. So I'm going to be 2 plus k, then steal what you found in step 1. 4 over n. This usually is multiplied out. So you get 2 plus 4k over n. Not so bad. I realize you're not sure what this means, but hopefully you can follow these steps. 
Step three, I gotta compose the function f um, by substituting a plus k delta x whenever I see an x. Remember, f of x is uh, right there in the original problem. And whenever I see that x, I'm plugging in a plus k delta x. The truth is, I take that function, it says 3 times x, so I now go 3 times the stuff in step 2. 3 times quantity 2 plus 4k over n. Don't forget that minus 2 in the original function. Alright? Finally, I write down my limiting format. Again, these all start the same exact way. The limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from k equals 1 to n of simply copy down what you arrived at in step 3. <laughs> then, tag that and copy down what you found in step 1, that delta x. These limit notations need to end with delta x, that dx, and that small change in x. We found that small change in x is equal to 4 over n. All right, little repetition is going to help you. Here's problem number two. This time a different integral. We have the integral from negative 3 to 2 of 1 minus x squared dx. Write that as a limit of Riemann sums. Okay, here's the first step. I just put a check mark there. Do you remember what it is? First step is find delta x. Do so by going b minus a over n. B minus a over n. Be a little careful of the negative sign here. Uh, this is going to be 2 minus negative 3 over n. 2 minus negative 3, of course, is, is 5. Subtracting the negative gives me 5. Okay, I've got delta x. Second step, i got to find a plus k delta x. And remember, the a comes from right there as a lower limit. A plus k delta x in this case is going to equal negative 3 plus k times what you found in step 1. And then rewrite that as uh, multiply that, uh, do the product there of the second term. Negative 3 plus 5k over n. <whistles> Done with step 2. What's step 3? I now got to compose the function. So I know what f of x is, that's the problem from up top. And whenever I see an x, I'm going to plug in my answer from step 2. i got to compose the function f at negative 3 plus 5k over m. That means whenever I see an x, I'm plugging in negative 3 plus 5k over m. Quantity squared, right? x is squared, therefore negative 3 plus 5k over n has got to be squared. Done with the tough stuff. Just got to put this in my blueprint limiting format. That is the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from k equals 1 to infinity of 1 minus quantity negative 3 plus 5k over n squared times 5 over n. One more, this one's for you. You try. So you ain't got a piece of paper. If you haven't, you've just been listening. See if you can do this problem. Write the integral from 4 to 9 of 2x squared dx as a limit of Riemann sums. All right, pause the film at this time. And you give that a whirl. You pause it. And give it a whirl. I want you to try this on a solo mission. Do it on your own. Okay, here's the answer. The answer you should have arrived at here is the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum of k equals 1 to n of 2 times quantity 4 plus 5k over n squared times 5n. Um, yeah, just make sure you back up a page. I know this upper limit here is has got to be n. I think on the previous problem I erred and made that a uh, 
an infinity sign. Right here, this has got to be an N. Right there. Okay. So that's the name of the game, you guys, for how to do Riemann sums uh, when you get a definite integral. Can you write that definite integral as a limit of Riemann sums? And then the other skill, of course, is can you go backwards? But really, if you know where the pieces come from in that limiting limit uh, scenario, see if you can work backwards. Maybe start from an answer and then see if you can arrive at the uh, starting integral. And one hint I will share with you. I can steal the lower bound uh, A. I know the lower bound is 4 looking at that answer. How do I figure out that the uh, upper bound is is 9? Well, that of course is stolen right from there. Okay, So I go 4 and add the 5 to it is how I get the 9. So again, you got to be able to go forward and backward. This film shows you how to go from a definite integral to a limit of Riemann sums. Uh, the other challenge is maybe I give you that limit statement and can you go backwards. So nothing wrong with writing down a limit statement as we've had here and try to go back to the um, definite integral. Hope this is helpful. Give it a whirl. Foster film over and out. Be good. See ya.